Hi all. Today let's take a look at the dependency injection decorators that are available in Angular. Some of the dependency injection decorators are self, skip self, host and optional. So these decorators basically change the way in which a particular service or provider is searched in the application hierarchy. The Angular application, whenever we try to inject a service, so for example, here I have an Angular 13 application. In this application, I have a top app component and within that I have an app parent component. Within the app parent component, there is an app child component. Similarly, in the app component, I have another component called the app content and within this I have content projected the app child component. So if we draw the chart for this particular application, it will be something similar. So we have the app component, we have two children, that is the parent and the content and both these consume the child component. So suppose within this child component, we want to inject a service. So let's go to the child component. And here in the constructor, I am planning to inject a service called logger. So this logger service is a service that has been provided in the root. So it is basically available at the root of the application. That is the equivalent to the app module of the application. So when I go to the child component and try to inject this, so ideally how does Angular know where to search for this particular logger service? So let's go back to our application structure. So we are trying to inject the logger service within this child component. So there are two injector hierarchies that are available in Angular. One is the element injector that is present in each of the components which we define and other is the module injector. So module injector corresponds to any ng module which we define. In our child component there will be a corresponding element injector so the element injector will be ideally empty unless we define something in the providers array that is available within the component decorator. So since in our case the component decorator does not have any providers, when we try to inject the logger service, what happens is that Angular will first search for the service within the element injector of child component it does not find it, so it goes to the parent component. Again, it does not find it, it goes to the app component. And there also, it does not find the element injector. So now what happens is that, it comes back again here to the child component and checks whether which module to which the child component belongs. So in our application, if you go, you can see that the child component is actually declared within the app module. So it will directly go to the app module and check whether it has any providers for the logger service. So here also it does not find. But then if you go here, it sees that it has the provided in root metadata. So this is equivalent to the module injector of the app module. So ideally it finds the service here and it injects the logger service into the child component. So now we will be able to use this logger service to log any messages. If you go to our application, we will be able to see that the child component is getting logged. So in our application, the logger service was defined within the root. So suppose this was not defined there as well. So what will happen? So if you go back to the injector hierarchy, what happens is that in case it does not find 
the service within the module injector it goes one level up it goes into the platform injector so how to access the platform injector so the easiest way is that instead of providing the route we can define the platform and this service will be available at the platform level that is at the browser level or in case of SSR it will be the platform so here again you can see that our logger is working just as previously now suppose it, it is not able to find the service within the platform injector as well so what happens is that there is a topmost level called the null injector it basically throws an error that that particular provider is not found so let's try to remove this metadata now we have not registered this logger service within any of the providers or provided any reshakeable metadata so now we have finally reached the null injector and it will throw an error that is the null injector error which says that the logger service is not provided so now that we have seen how the injector hierarchies work in angular and how a particular service is resolved by making use of this hierarchy let's explore the dependency injection decorators which can be used for modifying the way in which the services are resolved so let's go back to a logger service here i have changed it back to the root so that it will be available in the module injector and within the child component since we injected the logger service our application will be working but here we have a decorator called self so here i am going to add that so what does self mean so now if we go to our application you can see that actually it is throwing an error that it is not able to find the logger service within the node injector that is the element injector so what happened here is that by defining the self decorator we are saying that this logger service actually is defined within this particular component so in case it does not find the logger service within this providers it will immediately throw an error and it does not search for the parents and it will not navigate through the uh, injector hierarchy in order to resolve this you can provide the logger service here itself so once we define here immediately our application is back to normal in case i didn't give anything here in order to prevent this error there is another decorator called optional so here we are saying that this logger service which is a dependency it is an optional one so here we can provide the optional indicator as well when we do not define the logger service and angular is not able to find the service within our current component what happens is that it does not throw an error but when we try to log the logger you can see that actually that logger service is null when do we use the self decorator so the self decorator can be used whenever we want the dependency to be defined within our providers array itself that is the current element injector itself then we need to make use of the self decorator so that it does not navigate upwards and try to find the logger service or any service from within our parents or the module injector similarly the optional decorator can be used in case one of our dependencies is optional and that particular dependency is not needed in all the scenarios so by making use of the optional decorator we can ensure that our application does not break now let's take a look at another decorator that is the host decorator 
I have imported the host decorator, replace the self decorator with the host decorator. So now if you check our application, you can see that again, this is quite similar to the self decorator. That is, it limits the search scope to the current component or the current node. But one key difference is that here, if we go to our app component, you can see that the parent of our child component, there are two parents. So one is the app parent, that is actually the view parent of the app child. And we have the app content, that is actually a content parent. So let's see how the host behaves differently from the self. So here, actually I am going to add the definition for the logger service in the parent component and also within the content component. So now if we run our application, you can see that the logger service is actually defined for the content child. That is when we define the providers within the content component, that logger will be available for the child component. This is because the app child is actually embedded within the app content as a content child. So whatever provider is defined within the app content, it will be available to the app child. But in case we are normally defining it as a view, that will not be available. So here you can see when we we can do one thing in order to make it clear we will comment this out so here you can see that the parent component when we try to define the provider the host will not check for that at the parent view parent level but in case we define it at the content parent it is available so this is the difference between the self decorator and the host decorator. Now let's take a look at the final decorator that is the skip self. So here in the child component, I have defined the logger service as a self decorator so that we need to define the definition or we need to define the service within our element injector. So here I am going to define the provider so here instead of directly registering the logger service what I have done is actually I have created a second ser service called server logger service which is similar to a logger service but it actually adds some remote logging features. Now when we try to run this logger or access the logger within this component always it will be logging the message to our server. So here you can see that the server messages are indicated by a different color that's red. So now when we try to log the uh, log any message from within the child component it will always be logged to the server. So I have one scenario in which a particular action I need to log to the local logger service. So how can I do that? So anyway, in case I try to use the logger service, it is always pointing the server logger. So in order to make this possible, we have a decorator called skip self, which basically tells the injector that do not look for this service in the current component, but start searching from one level up that is the parent component or the parent element injector so here using the skill skip self i am defining a second one and i am naming it as console logger but i am again using the same token that is a logger service now 
here within the log what I am doing is I am actually calling the console logger. Now let's see what happens. So the logger within the init it is actually pointing to the server logger itself. But when we try to click on the override you can see that the actual logger service which we defined at the root level that's the module injector level that is being used. Similarly in the content child as well if we try to click it is also making use of the same logger. So this is the main application of skip self. That is within a component we want to access multiple instances of the logger. One is defined at the component level itself and other is defined at a higher level. So hope you are able to get a clear understanding of the different dependency injection decorators which are available in Angular and how they can be used to modify the injector resolving functionality. See you soon. Thank you.